Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome to a car movie review. I'm gonna be giving my opinion on the movie Long Legs that I saw. And I just wanna talk about like the things that I liked and the things that I didn't like. Not sure if this is gonna be an actual movie review because I'm not a reviewer. This is just my opinion on what I thought about what's supposed to be called the scariest movie in a while or since Hereditary. And spoiler alert, I really didn't find it that scary. Yes, it's a scary movie, but I've seen so many horror movies that I guess I'm desensitized by what director's vision as nightmare fuel or the most scariest thing that you'll ever see. Oh, there she is! And while this movie did have a few scary moments, especially in the first half, no, especially in the first part of the movie, because this movie is split up into three parts. Part one was fantastic. I thought we were in for a treat. It really felt like a solid serial killer crime thriller where Nicolas Cage is abducting or killing children, but you know, there's always more than meets the eye, right? So the things that I did like about this movie was the opening scene. That shit was so scary. Once you see Nicolas Cage, ooh, I jumped out of my seat. And there was another big, <laughs> big moment that happened to Lee's partner. I forgot his name, but when he went to go knock on that door, ooh, that shit made me jump out of my seat. So I really appreciated that jump scare. And I really liked Cage's character, Long Legs. I thought he was a really creepy villain. It looked like he had botched up plastic surgery and he was having some kind of identity crisis, kind of on par with Leatherface or Ed Gein. And I also love the fact that it was taking place in the 90s because I'm a 90s baby and it's it was just kind of great to see some of that 90s aesthetic. Micah's character, I think that's her name, Micah, who played Lee. I really liked her performance. She, <laughs> although she was a little eccentric, but there was a reason why she is like that, which kind of leads into the things that I didn't like about this film. And it, it doesn't seem like there's a lot of criticism about this movie because it had so many great, wonderful things going for it but I hated the plot twist, and I think that's what really bogged it down for me. It just seemed like a quick, easy fix to explain everything that happened in the movie. So I might get into a little spoiler territory, so spoiler alert, but the twist was that Nicolas Cage was worshiping the devil, and he was targeting families that had daughters born on a specific day of the month, and he was creating these dolls and placing these like silver orbs inside the doll's head, which is the devil, I guess, or the essence of the devil. And that's what possessed the fathers to kill their family. The devil, the Satanist, the cultist, satanic angle of it really ruined the movie for me because I was really hoping that this movie would stay grounded in reality, but it took this supernatural turn and it just, made me roll my eyes a little bit. And I'm not really a big, huge supernatural fan. I think ghosts are not scary. Possession films are not scary. Um, if Nicolas Cage was a devil worshiper, just a devil worshiper, a cultist, then I would have appreciated that more. And he was just killing families because he thought he was pleasing the devil, but there was no devil indeed, then yeah, I would have enjoyed that a little more. But the devil is real in this movie. And then Nicolas Cage was doing all this stuff and also using Lee's mom as his accomplice. And he was living in the basement this whole time. What? I mean, I did kind of like that twist. That was a little like fucked up. Like you didn't know that this man was living in your basement. I mean, Lee didn't know, but the mother knew because she begged him to save her child. Overall, the movie was meh. You take away the devil aspect of it and it, was, it would have been a decent movie, but because the devil was present, I thought it fell flat for me. And that's pretty much my quick little review of this movie. So did I think it was the scariest movie ever? No. It did have jump scares. It did make me jump. Like I said, the first part was chef's kiss, for real. It was great. But that is it. My first little review in under 10 minutes. 
The next big movie that I'm really anticipating is Kaku. That one looks so mind-fucking-crazy. Yeah, so that's on my radar, and it should be on your radar, too. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed this quick little slight spoiler review of Long Legs. Uh, take care, and bye.